Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Will everybody please stand for the scripture reading? We'll come out of the book of James. James chapter 1, verses 22 through 25. We have, please say amen. 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 Scripture reads as follows. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetting what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh to the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word, this man shall be blessed in his deed. May the Lord have a blessing to the word of the Lord. God, we just thank you today. I, and this had been on my heart for a couple of weeks, but it came hard to believe bring it again. Dealing with, re with reverse the curse uh, lesson two. We've dealt with that before, reverse the curse lesson one, but we're going to deal with lesson two today. Because that's some things that we need to be aware of. That's ways that the Bible states that we're supposed to reverse things that come against our lives in Christianity. Right. God, we ask that you bless this word today. I thank God for my wife, Elaine Lady Jones, and all the ministers and that matters and all the saints of God. Let's go into the word of God today. God, we ask you bless and sanctify in Jesus' name. Reverse the curse, lesson two, dealing with that subject. Let's go to Second Chronicles chapter number 20. 2 Chronicles chapter number 20 and verse number, round by verse 16. Let's go ahead and go down real quick. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse number 16. Chapter 20 and verse number 16. See what the word of God say. Now I want to give you a little background here about what's happening here. There's going to be a great company of people that comes against, yeah, come against the house of Judah. And what's going to happen is that when they come against the house of Judah, come against the king Jehoshaphat, you know, he's going to have to go to God with this situation because what's going to happen is that there's, there's, there's a situation that he can't handle. Are we there yet? Second Chronicles chapter number 20, verse 16. And it says, Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow go ye down against them. This is what the, the prophet is going to tell them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Zid, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook. Before the wilderness of Zerah, or Jerah, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord your God with you, Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, be not dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. See, I don't understand. You want God to reverse some things in your life, but you don't even want to worship the Lord. Don't even know people got to come and pray you, pray God, to get in the mold that God... Oh, my goodness. He needed a miracle. He needed a miracle. He needed God to do That's what he had. A, now, let me tell you something. You read the whole chapter, you read the chapter. Read from verse 1 all the way down to where we're at right now. He began to fast and seek the Lord. And then he had a mentality that he was worshiping the Lord. A lot of times people don't give what they need to the Lord. Number one, they don't fast. Number two, they don't worship. Oh, and they want God to reverse things in their life. When the last time you push your plate back? When the last time? Do you even have a fast and schedule in your life? You just don't believe in God. You didn't expect some miracle to fall out of the sky. But he's fasting and he worshiped God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the word of God goes on to say, Verse number 17, and he said, verse, and Joseph, verse number 18, Joseph bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And the Levites and the children of the Kohathites and, and the children of Korah stood up to praise the Lord of Israel with a loud voice on that. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehovah stood and said, Hear, hear, hear me, O Jerusalem, O Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in prophets, so shall you be, so shall you prosper. And when he had what consulted with the people, he appointed singles unto the Lord, and, and, and the word of God goes and say, and, and that they should what praise the beauty of holiness. 
And as they went out before the urban and to say, praise the Lord for his mercy and do well. And when they had begun to sing and to pray, the Lord said, ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab and Sir and Seir, which will come against Judah, and they will spit. Amen. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Seir, only to slay and to destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy them. So what you got to understand that they had a mindset that they want to seek the Lord. Number one, they wanted to what? They wanted to, they had to fast, they had to seek the Lord, they had to praise the Lord, they had to worship the Lord, they had to believe the prophet. But you want God to reverse the curse. See, sometimes there are formulas in the word of God. God gives formulas why he do what he do. The Lord told you, oh man, you ain't going to have to fight this fight. Just obey me. Just obey God. Just live right, walk right, talk right, act right. The Lord will bless you. Yeah. Let's go to First Kings chapter eighteen. Somebody want to bless God? We don't want to live home. Somebody need help? We don't want to wait. Baby, the only way the Lord gonna give it to you if you wait. You got to live home, you got to walk right, you got to talk right, 24-7, you can't have backslide ever, so let me tell you something, the Lord wanted to bless somebody with this, but he can't bless them because they keep tripping with God. They keep tripping with God. Let me, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said, shall he not do it? Have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Yeah. But somebody don't want to live right. Your blessing is delayed because you don't want to walk home. Your blessing is delayed because you don't want to talk on it. Don't want to live home. And until you figure that out, why should God give you anything? Think about it. And he do love you. He just ain't like mom and dad that'll give it to us anyway. Hallelujah. First King chapter number 18. Somebody say reverse the curse. You got problems in your life, you got situations in your life. Are you willing to do your part to reverse the curse? Now, in God, in one part of that formula was that after you've done all that, now stand still. Right. Now stand still. And as you read that chapter, they're going to go in and they're going to collect all of this bounty, all of that stuff that they got. And they're going to go in and collect all that. They had to work for it. God just gave it to them because they obeyed God. God will give you something if you just obey Him. If you just obey him. Amen. 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 First King chapter 18. Are we down? Amen. Chapter 18 and verse number. Let's go down real quick. And verse number 30. Somebody want to, they want to bless them. Want God to reverse the thing. Lord want to reverse it too for you, but you got to live holy, baby. Amen. Give the background. There are some false prophets. Prophets of Baal. Like 400 and 80 of them, something like that, a number over 400. And that was a false, yes, that was some false prophets. And in life, there was one real prophet, one real God, one real prophet, a whole bunch of false prophets. Yeah. And what's going to happen in this situation, the children of Israel are following Baal. They're following a false religion, they're following a false God, and God has now got to turn back the hearts of the people to serve him. See, in this situation right here, we get ready to read. It ain't the people that's going to turn. God is going to reverse the curse. Even though they ain't living right. Even though they ain't walking right. Even though they ain't talking right. God is going to do it because he's a merciful God. Amen. Sometimes God will just bless you anyway. Even though you know you ain't living right. Praise God. But that comes a time in your life. You're going to have to start living home. That comes a time in your life. You're going to start walking right. Some of the real blessings ain't going to fall upon you until you start lining up with the word of God. Pastor, I still got my job. I know I got a shack at it all. I still got my bill paid. I know I got a shack at it all. But the day coming, you're going to lose that man. You're going to lose that job. You're going to lose everything you got. And to you line up with the word of God, you will not receive the true blessings of God. Shall we go on, please? So we're going to deal with now. We got the scenario being set. We got the false prophet, the prophet of Balaam. And they're gonna begin to say, they're gonna they, they're in a drop situation and they need the blessing of God. And the prophet of 